Hello and welcome to Excel Ever. In this video, I will show you how we can create reports in Excel very easily from a lot of data. For this, I will take an example of a class where we have some students. So, like there are 25 students, and this is the class, these are the names, this is the roll number, and these are the subjects in different marks. So, now I, what I want to do is I want to generate a report card of a particular student okay and this is just an example you can use this example in variety of applications your data might be different it may be from finance field or it's like some customers or anything but the strategy that we see here can be followed in all these examples so first let's see how this works I'll select any of the students for example I select this one okay so I select this row and then click on the generate report button and you see the report for this student is generated so this is a format that I had defined so the student name roll number class is picked up also the marks are picked up and there's a grand total that we see okay so this is the kind of report I have generated you can further customize it according to your needs okay and uh, let's see how the initial format was so these were empty fields so there was no marks and there was no student names so this was my format of the report card okay so when we click this generate report button it picks up all the values from the previous sheet and all the subjects subject marks from the previous sheet and a grand total is uh, calculated based on the formula which is present here okay so that's the empty uh, field I will take another student so I'll select this one and click on generate report and you see that all the data with respect to that particular student has been picked up and the report has been generated so now let's see what's behind this generate report button so for this we'll go to the developer tab and click on visual basic and this is the code behind this generate report button so let's try to understand the code and let's see how this works and it's a very simple code the first step that we are doing is we are activating the data sheet okay so the reason to activate is if for example we are on some other sheet then first this sheet needs to be activated because we want to perform operations on this sheet okay so this is the data sheet which gets activated and then we take a variable i and assign it to the active cell dot row so basically the act that i was doing by selecting this row this is being done and the row number is stored in i in this case okay so the row number is stored using this command so i gets the value of the row number now i declare some variables so this is the first name last name row number class and these are marks one two three four five now in the first name i <coughs> take the value of cells i comma three so basically the row that i have selected and the third column so if I go back to this data sheet so the third column on any row would be the first name so this is my first name then similarly if I see the last name is taken from the fourth column and roll number from the fifth column and the class from the second column so basically here I define all these columns so this is the last name this is the roll number and this is the class so I am picking up the values all these values based on the row so I just change the value of the column but the row remains constant okay so then let's see further now I have stored all these values in these variables now I go to the next sheet which is my report card sheet and I activate it here I choose the respective cells where I need to put the value my values are already stored here in these variables now I define cells 3 comma 3 dot value is first name and 
I give a space in between last name. Similarly, I output the value of the roll number on the cells 4 comma 3 and the class on 5 comma 3. So let just let's just check this. So this is my cells 3 comma 3 where I get the name, the complete name. This is my cells 4 comma 3 where I get the roll number and this is my cells 5 comma 3 where I get the class value. So here my rows keep on changing but the column remains the same. But here I don't need a variable because these are fixed places. These will not change. Okay. So that's the reason I define fixed cells here. Similarly, on the other cells 8, 4, 9, 4, 10 to 12, 4, I put in the marks of the students. So if I click here, you see this is 8 and the fourth column, 9, and similarly till 12, 12, 4, I put all the scores and then on the 13th row, I already have a formula which sums up all these marks. And by default, these fields are stationary, but these values could also have been picked as they are mentioned here and uh, changed on the report. But for this case, we have fixed values, so I have entered these values as fixed values. So that's the way you can generate a report card for a particular entry or a particular student from a big data and you get it on another sheet. Okay. So I hope this would be useful for your work. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel Excelibur. Thank you very much.